Hello YouTube subscribers, uh, I think there's about five of you maybe. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd um, show off what I've uh, been up to lately. It didn't really work out, but um, I thought oh, it's kind of cool to show it off anyway. Um, so I've had this old oscilloscope for, I don't know, three years now. I think I bought it, it was about £25 off eBay. And um, yeah, I basically haven't done anything with it since I got it. Um, it's just another project that's on the back burner. But I was thinking, yes, I saw it last weekend, and I thought, oh, I wonder um, if it could be used as an X Y um, like plotter. And I thought, yeah, that might be quite cool. And so obviously, I need time to control it. And so um, I thought the easiest way of doing it would be um, via a, a sound card and so I've got um, stereo output uh, just going for a three and a half mil jack which then comes down to these RCA uh, or phono uh, sockets and then I bought phono to BNC uh, connectors to uh, connect it all up so the first thing that I tried it's just to check to see if it worked basically was um, I wrote a, a program in SDL which basically just generates a sound um, that should draw a circle on the, sc on the screen and so uh, yeah that one it actually looks pretty good um, in real life it looks really nice um, and so obviously drawing a circle isn't that interesting and so uh, I thought the obvious thing to do with an XY scanner is to uh, try and play some uh, Vectrex games um, and so I grabbed a emulator off the internet and I just added some extra codes to make it um, generate an audio signal which um, will then run off connected up to the oscilloscope should make it look like vector graphics like the one disadvantage that I have is that um, it doesn't this oscilloscope doesn't have a Z input um, I don't know how I'd control it anyway but it means that I can't turn off the uh, beam and so the only way in which I can you know stop drawing between lines is just to move, try and move the, uh, the the point as quickly as possible which uh, doesn't quite work but um, anyway here it comes. Oh, to change that. Uh, it's really bad for uh, drifting, but uh, you should say it, you should be able to see it saying Vectrex there. Uh, that's a bit, um, you know, it's difficult to see that in real life. Uh, but player one, that's like that's pretty much the best rendering you're going to see from this thing. Uh, and there's the ship coming in at the start. Uh, you see there's loads of lines in between uh, all the stars which shouldn't be there because you should be able to turn the uh, thing off but um, yeah it's a bit tricky to play and uh, to film but yeah it it, um, it kind of works uh, this is like um, a rip off of Asteroids um, but yeah and that, that that's basically it and um, you can see it running on uh, my PC there and that's what it's supposed to look like uh, which it it sort of does and just in case you're interested um, this should be how it sounds now apart from uh, yeah I don't know <laughs> um, my, Mac, my MacBook isn't uh, wanting to cooperate but um, yeah, so I think that's everything I wanted to show. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more interesting videos later.